The Cavemen Are Back by Jasmine Hussein. One hundred and fifty years from now, you wouldn't recognize planet Earth since it is ruled by animals. But trust me, that is the best thing that could have ever happened in any history book. Let me tell you why. One hundred years from now, humans ruled the planet like they do now, but they chose to ignore the rising problem of global warming. Instead of focusing on a problem that was able to destroy Earth, they were egotistical and only focused on themselves. The world was heating up like a furnace. They didn't realize, because there were more advanced air conditioning systems, humans never walked around anywhere. Instead, they stayed in their cars, which were now able to create cool seats and fly over the city like birds. The humans could not even see the sky, as it was covered by the grey, impervious clouds blocking the sun's bright rays of sunshine. The Arctic and Antarctic's ice blocks were all melted, meaning no polar bears were able to live on them. After a while, they became extinct, just like many other animals. Penguins also died, and only a few now exist on the snow. They are the lucky ones who are still alive and have not suffered from the humans' bad decisions. In contrast, the animals were the most badly affected by the humans' greed and destruction. Animals became tougher and rougher because they knew they couldn't depend on the humans to look after them. The humans forced the animals out of their homes and destroyed their forests. Since this happened, lots of animal species have become extinct and have decided to rebel against the humans. Some animals benefited from the new changes, since they were from a desert and needed hot weather to survive. These animals were the ones that didn't want to rebel against the people that made this possible. Humans lived in harmony and never even thought about global warming. Scientists started to stop investigating the rising matter of global warming and made unnecessary things instead. One day, a scientist, Jasmine, who specialised in animal products, began to think about what would happen if animals could speak. Jasmine was a very good scientist and travelled around the world to invent things. Her most successful invention was a collar that allowed animals to express their desires to their owners. The ASC, also known as Animal Speaking Collar, was first designed for household pets. But after everyone protested that all animals are equal and should be treated the same, more collars were made. At first, all the animals stayed in their natural homes and enjoyed telling their owners exactly what they wanted to do and especially what they wanted to eat. Eventually, some animals realised they didn't need their owners and ran far away. One winter's day, a wise old tigress that owned the forest decided she wanted to look after the earth herself because humans could not be trusted to do such an important job. She had soft, fleecy fur and gorgeous, big, hypnotising eyes that could persuade anyone to help her. Her ears were so big they could hear a mouse creep through the towering green grass two miles away. Her teeth were like razors, ready to rip people apart without a second's hesitation if necessary. Her name was Lady. Lady cared for her children and her pack more than anything else in the world. She was worried about what the humans were doing and became the leader for the animals. The unsuspecting humans carried on like normal, but little did they know about the dangers waiting. Meanwhile, Lady got all of the animals ready, convincing them that the only way they could live happily was to destroy the humans. The animals worked together and attacked the humans. After a bloody battle and many casualties on both sides, the animals succeeded. The animals were a bit clueless as to how they had managed to kill all of the humans without putting too much effort into it. The humans were unprepared for the battle that commenced, so they were not able to get ready. 
Little did the animals know the humans were all hiding in underground bunkers until the time was right to reveal themselves. Soon, the animals began to realise the earth was boiling hot, and without the trees of the rainforest in the way, they were able to see that the sky was grey and gloomy, like smoke had conquered all of it, not even the sun was visible. The animals were very confused and decided to consult Lady. Lady was also very confused, but after lots of hard thinking, she thought she knew the answer. She thought the buildings were the problem, so she made the animals destroy them all. But nothing happened. Then Lady thought electricity was the problem, so no one was allowed to use it. But still, nothing happened. Lady was dedicated to fixing this problem, so she stopped using all human products since she thought they were the cause of the now miserable earth. After months of the animals hoping for some sort of change, the sky started to become brighter and the sun's bright rays of light became clearer. The earth's weather also started to drop by a couple of degrees. The humans in the bunkers were amazed to see the sky and feel the wind. They conducted a meeting and decided it would be best if the animals ruled Earth and they lived on Earth and followed the rules made by the animals. The following week, humans got ready to reveal themselves to the animals who were enjoying the new Earth. When all of the humans suddenly appeared from the underground filthy bunkers, the animals were all very confused. At first, the animals didn't do anything as they thought the humans were there to get revenge on them. The humans asked if they could have a meeting with Lady, and the animals reluctantly accepted. During the meeting, lots of things were discussed, including all the bad decisions humans had made which caused global warming. Humans agreed the world was a better place, more peaceful and calmer when animals were in charge. They signed an agreement that said humans would go back to living in the caves like in the old days and would stop destroying the world with their bad habits. After all of this happened, there was no such thing as animals being kept in houses, possibly because houses and buildings were all destroyed. All animals now had a right to pick which family they wanted to live with and decide whether they wanted to be in a cage or not. The earth's trees grew back, home for many animals who lived there. The forest's squirrels started to chatter again and the forest was full of light and live creatures. The birds were singing and the insects were humming livelier than ever before the trees began to sway in the gentle gale like before. The forest was not forgotten and was one of the liveliest areas on the whole planet Earth. The humans were also much happier having a simple life without politics. The now peaceful humans lived in caves without heaters or air conditioning, but they didn't care because they became cavemen. So, as you have read, the world is a much better place when ruled by the animals.